And we do get a raise with ace queen suited from the button. Ooh, Ooh Marquez. Simple hand. We've seen a lot of ace king, ace queens today. Ace queen's been doing okay. Yeah. Anna jams it in there and is in great shape <laughs> against Linus. Blocking the king of hearts. Blocking the flush, rather, with the king of hearts. He's in a hand. Sixty-nine percent equity going to the flop, but it is a queen high board. Ugly, ugly stuff. Did I do it? You may have ridden the broom there, Noko. Turn is of no help to Marquez, who is hunting a king alone here. Come on, give it to me. It's my first title. <laughs> Asking for assistance. <laughs> okay. Sounds Not getting like it, though. Okay, thank you. Graceful in defeat, Anna Marquez. Just one of those things when the short stacks play themselves. Can't win them all. Well, back to the poker. Ace King. He did ask the stack size of the big blind of Adrian Mateos, which might change the size he opens to, which would be bigger if it's a opponent in the big blind is playing one of those ten big blindish stacks. It is sixty five K and Linus has woken up with two tens. Of course he has. Two bigger stacks. Could clash for all of the chips. A three bet to 150,000 and Saliba's response forthcoming. These ace kings like to just get it all in there pre flop. Keep it Randy. simple. Yeah. You take the fold equity, get all five cards if it does happen to get it in. Yep, Snap. and of course we know Lalager always going to make this call with the two black tens. Off to the races they go. Slight favorite for Lalager. Ace King does perform fairly well in these situations and on this one in particular as the ace jack nine board leaves Saliba well in front but Walliger has the ten of spades working along with some backdoor straight potential all of that dashed after the nine of clubs rolls off so it's two outs once that Saliba needs to fade Walliger coming with the oh. prepaid oh <laughs> prepaid into the ten scoop it how do they do it got these tricks man prepay stand up it's not fair. Lolliger getting after Junam Lee's big blind. Timing is poor. As this is the third time he's raised yeah. small blind versus big blind. Has not limped once. I wonder whether or not Lee has had enough. Looks like he's going to take a flop here. Definitely hand he could have thought about jamming in. Tend to agree off of that sub-500 stack. Instead, he takes the queen, 10, 9, all club board, where Lolliger has flopped the straight along with a club redraw while Junam Lee has just a pair of nines. And look at this, Lolliger trying to give him some rope. It does not work as Lee quickly checks back. Dry turn. Two quick checks. And now Lolliger will do his own bidding. Barrels 100,000 into 190. Can't really blame Lee for at least trying to see what develops on the river. And the queen pairing is actually a, a really unfortunate card, I would say, for Lee. Yeah, it gives you that extra confidence with your pair. Right. No more uniques on board. Face nine was good before, it's good now. He's going for all of it. Yeah. He's hoping Junam Lee has a queen. 
I just quickly check back the flop. It is reasonable. Doesn't think a queen would ever fold. Go for the maximum. This smells abusive, though. It's my, your third time getting after my big blind. It, you check the flop, and then you go barrel jam. Yeah, it does. It feels a little personal, doesn't it? Like, every single time you fold to me, you've been aggressive against right. me. Right, right. And he's shown some passiveness. One more discipline lay down. Yeah. But he's down to 11 blinds. Like an in. Mini race. Uh oh. Not a mini race coming with this. He's king. I think he's going to use a similar size into King 5 suited, you know, try to recreate that scenario, try to induce some action against them. But we got some late, really early positions. Undergun, undergun plus two. Did he just flat? That's not possible, is it? It is. I can't remember the last time we saw something like this. And just take a look at what it's going to do to Junam Lee. This king queen suited off of 325. Cannot blame him one bit for thinking that he can squeeze in this spot here. Oh my, you know what? We might get him multi way all in. A seven's kind of re jammed to kick out Lolliger. It's possible. Whereas he wouldn't have put in the 30 big blinds. If the three TBD, bet had come. Randy, but you're right. There are some very interesting things that could develop. He could fold as well. I guess it's possible. Let's not forget that Junam Lee, I believe, is being perceived as fairly snug. Yep. Somewhat straightforward by the rest of the field. And as such, his willingness to jam now might have been read as very strong but nevertheless Lycanon decides to move all in and an instant grimace on his face is Lolliger he's not in, he's in good shape made the call but yeah you're right especially given that Lee and Lolliger both share a king it's just the upper crust of the deck that Lycanon is looking to avoid as he plays an active, or a dead side rather, against Lolliger, who just smashes this flop. Ace eight six, top pair, nut flush draw. Board pairs on the turn, and that's all she wrote for Junam Lee, who draws dead. Lycanon was drawing to one of two sevens in a Brilliant choice from Lolliger. No leads to a triple up.